Hey everybody, welcome in. Today is Merry Monday. Um, so I had a, um, I was going to work on my journal today, my Christmas journal today, but I decided to show you all my goodies that are going to be used in these journals first. And I'm going to show you a little bit of a tutorial on how to make these little journals. Um, so that in case you want to follow me along on this um, series of Merry Monday, every Monday from now until probably the week before Christmas, I am going to be putting together journals and stuff. <coughs> oh my goodness, excuse me, I apologize. Um, so yeah, but I, I gathered all my supplies today. I pulled stuff out of the attic. I, yeah, so... Um, gonna show you that and I just want to let you know that I am at 98 subscribers as of the making of this video and um, I have a giveaway going on when I get to 100 subscribers so if you're not subscribed um, and you want to um, click on that subscribe button click on the notifications bar or bell so that when um, I make videos you'll get alerted this week I'm gonna try to make a bunch of videos only because I am going on vacation next week um, to New York and Vermont and um, probably won't get any videos made. But I'm going to try to do a bunch this week, like every day this week up until um, I leave on Sunday. I'm going to try to get a video going. And also I am going to be videoing from the cabin. So you'll be able to see the cabin a little bit and... Um, see what happens there. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to just because I'm not sure Ohio weather, you know, if it's not sunny, the cabin's in the woods, so it's kind of dark and um, so I'm not sure if I'm actually going to be able to um, film from there, but we're going to test it out. Um, so yeah, let's get into this. Oh, the 100 subscriber giveaway. So you are going to get this little machine. Um, so this is a little sticker maker. And um, let me show you how this works. Um, so like I said, if you um, leave me a comment and um, subscribe to my video, um, uh, I will put you in the running for this and we'll put you in a hat and pull you out and I'll do that on camera. And um, so there's this little it's a 150, um, so this is a Xyron 150, at least that's what it used to be called. This is the Xyron sticker maker, so I'm not sure um, the number's not on here anymore. Like I said, mine's ancient. Mine is years and years and years old, like it has to be more than 20 years old. Um, it's got 20 feet of permanent adhesive, and I'll show you what it looks like this is mine and they used to come in this lovely day glow orange color so let me move these aside and um show you kind of what it does um let me get something to put through it will this fit no that won't fit um here i'll put this through so um Basically, all you're going to do is you're going to put whatever you want to make a sticker through and you're going to pull it and um, then you're going to rip it off like so. Give it a little bit of a rub, like push it down onto the paper. So whatever. So this part peels off and I always have trouble doing this, but it's very easy. Um... Anyway, that part peels off. I'm going to stick that over there. And then you're left with a sticky back, whatever you put it in. Now, granted, it's only small. I think it's only, like, I think you can fit an inch and a half in here. Um, but it does go full width. So, I mean, if you get something that's full width, it will take it. Um, you know, I would leave a little bit of an edge um, I probably wouldn't do it like exactly the size of this because this um, paper has to s kind of grab it. So, um, yeah, but anyway, that is that. And then it's a nice sticky back. So, um, like I said, that's my public service announcement. So I just need two more subscribers and then we'll do the giveaway. So that is that. I'll put that in my other stuff. So let's get to this. So let's, as long as this is right here, let's... Um, 
let's do this one. So this is my um, goodies and um, from this year or from last year. So these are all from last year. So I have these stickers from Dollar Tree from last year and we'll be using these in some of our journals, which is fun. And I did get these little containers from Dollar Tree too and all my little stuff is in there. So um, a lot of this stuff came from Walmart last year. Um, I know these did. So these are um, little wreaths and I will be using those. And then these and these actually came from, let me take these out. These are fun. These are flatback resins, um, printed resins. And this is from a shop on Etsy. Um, and like I said, these are from last year. I tried to look for them this year and um, I couldn't find the same shop. So I'm not sure if they're still in business or not. Um, if I can find them, I will link it below, but I'm sure you can find similar things on Etsy. Etsy is a great resource for flatbacks. Um, so yeah, and then this little snowman guy, which I thought was fun, and I'll show you what I did with him in a minute. Um, so yeah, so I have those to play with this year. And um, I'm gonna put those back in so that I don't mess it up. So then I have these um, little snowflakes here and they have a little um, hole in them so you can either hang them or do something with them. These were actually um, Christmas tree ornaments, like miniature Christmas tree ornaments. And um, anyway, these are all from Walmart from last year. So I have some candy canes, I have some pink candy canes. And then I have um, this little ornament and this came from Dollar Tree. So there's that. And then I also have these little, um, these little um, stockings. Um, and I believe these came from Dollar Tree too. Don't, don't kind of quote me on where this stuff came from because I know this came from Dollar Tree um, because I'm just not sure like where, I got a lot of this stuff, like I said, because it was from last year. So this little tree I know came from Dollar Tree. Um, and then I got these. Um, and I know all of these came from Walmart. So these were just tags, um, to and from tags. So I'm going to use these in my journal. And then these all came together. Um, and I thought these were cute. So I'll be using these in my journals too. So we have a little elf and a nutcracker and Santa and a snowman. And then do not open until December 25th. So I thought that that one was cute. Let me get those back in. And then these tags. Um, and then I loved these little coffee cups, which I thought were so cool. So I have three of those left. I think three. Yeah, three of those left. I think these came like six to a package. Um, like I said, I used a bunch of them last year. So um, there's those. And then I know I got these at Dollar Tree last year. Um, and I believe I saw them again this year. Um, the little Merry Christmas. Um it's supposed to be an ornament, but I'm going to put them on the fronts of journals. Um, so yeah, there's that. And then these are just, um, I have a, if you can see that, if it's, oh my gosh, is that, I can't see, is that um, glaring? Anyway, they're here. I think I can show you a bigger, bigger version. Anyway, so there's the um, embossed. I embossed this with my embossing folder, ran it through my Cuddlebug machine. Um, and yes, I am dating myself with the Cuddlebug machine. It is ancient too, along with the Xyron sticker maker. It is ancient. So there's that little goodie box or bin. And then I have all of these. Look at all of these. I must have been happy with the Jingle Bells last year. Like, I don't know what I was going to do with so many Jingle Bells, but I have all different sizes. And I even have little tiny ones, so that'll be fun. 
And then I have these little alligator clips, which I thought um, I could do some bows on and like actually stick in journals and stick this way in journals. So just little alligator clips. And I know I got these at Goodwill. Um, so little alligator clips. And then I also have these charms, which I got off of Amazon. And if I can find them, like I said, guys, all of this is from last year. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to link stuff. But anyway, these were cool. If you just look on Amazon for charms, everything pops up seriously. But honestly, I'm not going to keep saying I'll link it. If I can link stuff, just look in the description box and it'll be there. And if I can't, then you know I couldn't find it, okay? Um, so yeah, these were a great deal. And just, I think there was like a hundred, I think there was a hundred for like $15 or something. I can't remember how much they were, but anyway, what I did last year was just put little strings on them and then hung them from um my packages for um when santa claus came so that's what i did with those last year so they are going over there and then i have just a bunch of those sticky bows um which i thought were cool and i loved the colors of these um they weren't the traditional i mean they are kind of traditional colors but much more muted and I liked those and then of course you have the holographics and just the plain silvers and the whites and the golds so yeah I have those I'm gonna put this over here and then I sat down um last year this is from something else um I sat down last year and during one of the Christmas shows and I made all these little bows and I have them left I literally used so many of these last year and I still have tons left over so if you would like to see I, there are so many videos out there on how to make these finger bows um, and they come out really good. It, it is a little bit of a learning curve to kind of get them right. But once you get them, it is so easy to make these little bows and you can make double bows and triple bows and all these little bows um, come out so beautifully. I mean, look, they just, they're so perfect and you just basically wrap them back and forth around your finger and then up through. And anyway, um, I'm not great at teaching how to make them, but I will try. But honestly, if you just link, if you just search like finger bows or how to make a bow on your finger, videos will pop up. If I can find the video, once again, I'll link it. So, um, so yeah. I just made a whole bunch of bows and these are from Dollar Tree so that's my bow collection so far so far my bow collection and then my ribbons from last year and these I'm actually going to use on my Santa journals this year as ties so I think I have enough I'm pretty sure I know I have enough for at least two journals so, um, there's that. I looked for it again this year and they didn't have it. So I was a little disappointed they didn't have this Santa, but if they, if somebody else has seen it, then let me know because I will definitely go. And then there's this also Merry Christmas one. So, um, like I said, I didn't see the Merry Christmas and I didn't see the Love Santa this year. So, um, these are my ribbon collection and this is just, um, uh, holographic from Target Dollar Spot. And um, I wasn't crazy about this to tell you the tr truth. Um, you had to um, really um, use tons of it in order for it to show up. Now it's a little pretty, but like I said, I didn't have good luck with it. So I'm gonna try it again this year just to kind of get rid of it. Um, and then, oh, let me show you my um, subscription box from um, Buttons Galore and more. I forgot to do it in my haul video when I got it. And I've already opened most of the packages except for these. But these were all the buttons and fun things from that subscription box this year. 
um, the Christmas subscription box. And um, it is definitely worth getting. Um, I love getting my little box. It's every 45 days. And it's usually a... Um, look at this one. Isn't that precious? Um, it's usually a holiday theme box. Um, and all of this stuff that you're seeing, like all of these were in different bags. Like these were in a different bag. So I just kind of lumped them all together because I was running out of little uh, trinket dishes here. So yeah. Um, and all of these are available on their website. Um, as separate purchases. So like if you just want these buttons, if you just want these, um, all separate purchases and they come in little bags like this. They're not big bags. Um, they come like maybe like six or eight to a pack. Fairly reasonable. At least I think they're reasonable and well worth um, the price. So there's those. And some of them are buttons with the shanks. And some of them are, oh, I'm so sorry. The leaf sucker is here. You know, the big truck that sucks up the leaves. Anyway, he's outside. So if that's that noise you can hear, I apologize. Um, figures right when I'm doing a video, he comes by. So um, if it gets too loud, I'm going to shut you off. And um, I'm going to shut you off and we'll do it I'll start it up again when he's gone. So he shouldn't be here for too long. But um, anyway, so here's these little jemmies. Um, so you get tons in this one. So little red and gold and um, green jemmies in that one. So there's that. And then this one was a beautiful mix. Um, this is the winter kind of the winter mix and you know what before I show you I am going to shut the video off and I am going to come back when the truck is gone okay I'm back he's gone so that was crazy he was very loud but all our leaves are gone so I'm excited about that um <laughs> we have a huge maple tree in our front yard so um it's nice we just get break the leaves down to the curb and the big truck comes and sucks them all up. Anyway, I digress. Um, so anyway, this is the winter mix and um, very beautiful little mix. Um, so yeah, very pretty. And um, we use that. And then we have some pearls. And these are honestly just balls. They're just gold balls in different sizes. And um, yeah, I'm not sure. I guess you just glue them on. Like, I was surprised to see these. They don't have a hole in them or anything. So, I'll be, uh, see if I actually use those. Um, I, I want to, but, um, maybe hot glue, um, to keep them on. And then there's this mix, and I loved it. It has the Grinch in it. Let me see if I can get a Grinch out. Oh my god, it's so cute. This mix is so cool. Oh, there he is. Look at him. I'm going to try to get him in there. Anyway, there's the little Grinch. And then we have some, oh, flying all over the place. Um, And then some little Santa hats and snowflakes and little holly leaves. Um, So, yeah, super cute. I loved this mix. Anyway, like I said, everything is... um separate on their website. Oh, and it's got a little heart for his heart grew three sizes that day. Very cute. Um, so anyway, that's the Grinch mix. I don't know if it's called the Grinch mix, but that's what I call it. Let me see if I can get it. Um, it is called Who Village. Um, so that's that mix. Who Village is what this mix is called. And this mix, let me see if there's a um, there is not a, it just says buttons galore and more. There's not a, um, name on this one, but this one is called Who Village. It's very cute. So let me put those away, put those out of the way, and let me put these aside. And then this is what I did last year. 
Um, so these are all my makes from last that I had left over from last year. Um, I made tons last year. Um, so these are actually um, little wreaths that I made out of shower curtain rings. And let me show you out of these shower curtain rings. I used to be able to get these at Dollar Tree. I did not see them this year, but I have tons left over anyway. I think I bought two or three packages last year. Had every intention of making like tons of these. I don't know why, um, but I did put these on packages um, last year. So it's these. Um, so basically you just snip them together and then um, the tinsel, it's the thin tinsel. And you just wrap it around real tight. Um, what I did was I glued it and then I started wrapping and then I glued a little bit, started wrapping, glued a little bit and started wrapping so it didn't all unravel. And then of course I glued the end. And then this, the flat part is where the bow goes. Um, so yeah, they're very stinking cute. At least I think so. So I did those last year. And then I also did this one. Um... And this was just a piece of, um, as a matter of fact, it's not even pretty because um, I was going to glue it onto a package um, or I did glue them onto packages. Um, so basically I just cut out a circle. Um, it was before I had my circle punch. Um, so basically if you get a circle punch, that is fabulous. And then just pom poms and a gold bow. So there's that. And then I did these little guys, um, which I thought were so stinking cute. These little gingerbread people. And it's just a scallop punch and a circle punch. And I have a small bow die um, that I used and I actually drew the faces on. So, yep, I drew and made the faces and I thought they came out cute. So there's those. And then I have um, these two. So that's what I did with that um, wreath. So I just, I um, punched out a square and I punched out another scallop and just glued it on and I, they came out cute. And there's that little guy, um, that little snowman dude and one of the snowflakes. And yeah, and this is some eyelash trim and two scalloped punch dies. Um, and then I have just these, and these aren't finished, um, but they are just two scallops. And then I also popped them up. And so these will all go in journals as well. And then I also made some tags last year. Um, these are tags left over from my packages. Um, so I have these and these, um, oh my goodness, I keep saying, um, I am so sorry. It is a bad habit that I am trying to break. So these are from Michael's. Thank goodness. I could not think of that. And, um, these, yeah, these are from Michaels. These papers are from Michaels. And then you've seen all the stuff that I put on them. These were digitals that I found on Etsy. If I can find them again, I will link them because these were beautiful digitals. And this little Santa Claus, uh, this vintage Santa Claus. And then this is actually a die um, for my die machine. So, yeah. I have Merry Christmas and a little... Robin on a wreath and skates. And then this is actually going on the front of one of my journals for Christmas. So we'll see which one gets it. But I have a couple in the works that I think this would be good for. So he's got a little, one of those little candy canes um, from Michael's. And then this was a digital as well. And then there's one of those charms. There's a Santa Claus charm. And then um, just a ribbon that's tied. So that is that. And then I wanted to show you um, what I am working on. So this is what Merry Mondays are going to be all about. 
is working on these little journals. So I actually recorded this video already um, and showed you how I made these. Um, yeah, but somebody recorded it in cinematic mode and I didn't, you know, couldn't upload it in cinematic mode. And besides, it was very moody and, um, but I made these two <laughs> little gift bag journals um, and I thought they came out really cute. So basically, you take, let me see if I have another, let me see if I have another bag. So I think I do, I do. Um, let me get it. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna deconstruct these little bags and I just got these little bags at Dollar Tree and I think I showed you on my last video how to deconstruct it but I'm going to show you again so they're very easy to deconstruct you're going to open them up and now you can do this one of two ways and what I found, so you're basically going to open it up like this. Let me get my scissors. And you're going to cut it up the middle like so. You're going to follow that midline right there. And it doesn't have to be perfect because you will trim these at the end. So then you are left with this. Okay. You are left with this. Now you can do a few things here. So let's take these out and these are very nicely made actually because they're very easy to take the handles out. You just push these black um, metal pieces through and the handles come out very nicely. And then I take this out and save this for the journal. So I'm gonna save the tag for the journal and then push this through like so. Push this through, well, maybe. There we go, push this through like so. And you can save these. Um, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with them. I am saving them, but I'm just not, I can't tell you what I'm gonna do with them yet. So if I figure it out, I'll let you know. So you can do one of two things. You can either cut this off here and use these for something. Or you can just flip it up so that the edge is nice. Um, yeah, so you can flip it up and put your, which I did not do, but after I got those two together, I realized, let me get a piece of, cardboard here, excuse me for a second. So basically what you're gonna do, and I use all the cardboard in my office, like all of it. Like I save all my cardboards just for this reason. So you're basically, and this is where I goofed on the other one. Oh, here's my pencil. This is where I goofed on the other one. So you're gonna do this and you're gonna do this. And then you are going to do this. Okay, so about, a, about an eighth of an inch, but you're gonna bring this one right up to the edge. Okay, right up to the edge. And then see, I measured it wrong again. So you're gonna bring it right up to the edge and then about an eighth of an inch in. Okay, so like I said, I'm doing these a little bit different than I did the bigger ones and I'll show you what I did on both of them. Okay, so then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this and I'm gonna turn it this way so it's easier for me to do. I'm gonna move this out of the way and I'm gonna move this out of the way. Okay, now we have you in frame. So, take this we're gonna line it up make sure it's straight make sure this is straight these are gonna be a little bit smaller than the ones I showed you originally 
um, but I wanted to make a little bit of a smaller journal. So basically you're going to take this and you're going to line it up with the lines so that it's straight. So there you go. And then you're going to take your craft knife. Be very careful with these guys if you use them. Like seriously, they are super dangerous, seriously. And um, like make sure you're always, 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 always closing them up when you put them down. I saw a really bad accident with one of the ladies in my quilting class um, years ago. She left her rotary blade open and sliced her arm right open on it. So honestly, just, just really be careful of these sharp tools that we tend to use as crafters. And that's my little, another little public service announcement. And keep your fingers out of the way as well as much as you can because these honestly slip so easily if you're not using the proper tools. So always make sure you cut it or close it and um, keep your fingers out of the way if you can. Um, that's my little safety, safety tip of the day. Okay, so you're going to line it up and you're going to cut... Um, and just another little service announcement, if you do decide to go this route, um, and cut your stuff from there is, um, use one of these rulers. And so it's raised a little bit on the back, like it's definitely worth it to get it. And then you have a little, a nice, nice sturdy edge. If you try to use the plastic rulers, I have found that you slip a little bit more on them and they're very easy to go across the ruler like this and that is a good way to gouge your thumb. So like I said, I'm just a bug about it and um, I really, really um, have seen a bad accident with it and it was not pretty. So she ended up needing like tons of stitches. So, all right, that is the end of my safety lecture for the day. Okay, so now we're just um, cutting this down. Um, but I don't want this video to be super long. So what I'm going to do is show you this way and I'm going to show you the other way. So basically this way is you're going to put this in here like this, glue it down. Okay. So we're gonna glue it down. Let's see if my glue is cooperating in this one. It is. Like my last video that I made in cinematic mode, which was, like I said, very moody. Very, very moody. Um, I did not have the use of my Fabri-Tac and it was quite hysterical. Um, so you're just gonna leave a little bit of room in between your crease here where you fold it. So just a little tiny bit of room there. And there's that. So now you have this down. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna flip it over and you're gonna take, I'm gonna put my knife away. Um, you're gonna take your bone folder and you're gonna squish it up and squish all that nice glue all around. Now the other thing you can do Take the point of your bone folder and rub it in the creases a little bit. Um, and that gets rid of the crease line in your um, bag. So I'm not worried about this one here because I am probably gonna put trim there. And I'm not so in this one in this particular journal. Not so worried about this one, but I am gonna do it anyway. Um, and I'll tell you why. So in this one, okay, so we got all that crease down, so that's good. In this one, I'm folding these over. In these, see, I did not. So I don't have anything on the backs of these. So basically I cut it right up to the edge. So I cut 
this bottom edge off on these two journals, on this one and this one. What I found with this one is I wanted to make a smaller journal. So I'm actually gonna wrap the journal, if that makes sense, I hope that makes sense. So basically what I'm gonna do is cut my edges like so, and I'm gonna cut at a diagonal like so, so that I can miter the corner. Okay, so we're gonna cut that off like so. We're gonna do the same thing on this corner. Like so, almost to the corner. Okay, almost to the corner, but not quite. And then you don't quite, you don't have to go in that far but like so, okay. So now you have a nice corner like this. And when I do the other side, so I'm gonna do the other side. I think I did this right. So let's do this side now. We're gonna line this up on the edge that on the edge and let's see this kind of runs I'm gonna line this up actually with a line so that I can do this and I can do that and get my knife back out I think that's straight it's not there we go that's straight and I'm gonna cut that that off and then I am going to cut this edge off cut this edge sorry I got really quiet all of a sudden I gotta cut this edge off okay we got that oh I missed that little part there okay and then here we go and then this one, here's the other mark. Okay, and that's the other mark. Line that up, line that up. And we are gonna cut through. And you're putting a really firm pressure on this. And like I said, if you do a light pressure, that is when you're most likely to cut yourself because when you do a light pressure it kind of skips around so if you do quite a firm pressure and make sure you're using one of these self-healing mats as well and that way there it um let's see if i did that right i did i did um actually i did not that's so funny i think it'll work though maybe not we got to It'll work. I'll make it work. We'll make it work. All right, so now you glue this down. We'll make this work. So glue this one down. Oh, that noise. Ooh, that noise. Okay, so this one gets glued down as well. We're gonna get up from the edge. Up from the edge push it down, turn it over. Okay, so we got this all situated. And then you're gonna take, oh, there we go. That was not straight, you know what? This is not straight. Ha ha, mistake number one. Put it on straight. This is not straight, people. So we're gonna get this one and we're gonna try this one. Is this one straight? Oh, that edge is straight. So I am gonna, oh my goodness. Why is it always when you're on camera this stuff happens? Like seriously, like I can do this in my sleep. And as soon as I get on camera, it looks like I have no clue what I'm doing. So seriously, okay. That is not straight, that is why. One of these edges is not straight. Okay. So we are going to, oh, that's straight. 
Okay, let's see if we can do this and let's see if this is going to be straight. And there's that, and there's line that line up. And this is why I was not good quilting. Like seriously, I was the worst quilter. I really was. Oh my God. No, not really. But uh, it took me so long to figure out how to cut straight. And that is key when you're quilting. I don't know if anybody out there quilts, but that is key when you're quilting. If you can't cut straight, then you are not going to quilt. Like seriously, you're just, you're dead in the water if you can't cut straight. Or so straight. Like at the time, I couldn't even sew straight, which was really funny. My quilts were always wonky. So I just learned to make crazy quilts. And uh, yeah, so I did. I made a lot of crazy quilts. All right, so there we go. There we go, that's better. Okay, so we have that. And that's still not straight, people, but I am gonna move on. All right, so I think we got that and we got that. So what we're gonna do on this edge as well is cut from here to here and from here to here we're going to pivot a little bit oh like i said we're going to make these edges work i am going to make this work um because i think i'm out of cardboard um so don't get like super frustrated with yourself seriously um you know these are um what am i trying to say these are homemade books. Um, they're not, they are not, it is not um, perfection here. It is not perfection. So I'm going to do this and I'm going to come over here by like an eighth of an inch here and an eighth of an inch here. And we're going to cut this. Now we're going to line that up and line that up. And get my ruler back out. And line that. And the 29. Move that over right on the edge. Whew. This was not supposed to be a demonstration in cutting, but I wanted to get this video up and show you how easy these were. And I am not making it look very easy, I know, but it really is. Once you get your cutting down and once you get this in, um, these books are super easy to put together. This is not a, uh, this is not a beginner video at all because I am not making it look easy, but honestly, it is kind of a beginner project. Um, there are definitely better tutorials out there than this one. And I welcome you to go look at a better tutorial than this. This was really just to show you what you can use these bags for and how well they make journals. Um, but like I said, if I'm, if you can't understand what I'm doing, please feel free to look for, you know, cover making videos um, on YouTube. There's some really great creators out there who teach much better than I do. I am still learning this craft. And um, yeah, so basically now you have this, okay? So we've cut this, we've cut this, we've cut this. These are going to fold up like this. And these get glued and I always do my long sides first um, and make sure there's enough glue on them to kind of get you by and then make sure the glue isn't seeping out of these um, holes here. Um, yeah, make sure the this isn't glued down. There we go, okay. So basically, I'm going to do my sides, and I'm going to take this, and I'm going to do that. And I'm going to do that, and then I am going to do that. 
do this. Okay, there's that, there's that. And then I'm gonna glue, let's get my bone folder out. Glue this, see it's a little bit wonky there. It's a little bit wonky, people. I'm telling you, that's me. I'm a little bit wonky. Okay, so those are glued down and then we're gonna take these and we're gonna glue these sides down and this side down. Um, and this side down. And then you have some nice even corners. I just totally touched glue to my sweater. Oh my goodness. I'm telling you, I am a hot mess today. As my girlfriend calls me, a hot mess with a glue gun. Yep, that's me. Hot mess with a glue gun. Okay, and there you have your cover. And then basically these kind of pull in like this. Yeah, so it didn't turn out too bad after all. So we have this. And it measures, let's see, where's my ruler here? It measures just about four by, yeah, four by six. So they're about four by six. And then they have, see, this is a little bit off here. So what I will do in this case is just cover this with something um, so that it doesn't look off. So I will probably put a piece of fabric or something to cover this rough edge with. Um, and then it is a about a two and a half, two and a quarter inch, no, two and a half inch spine. So this one's about a two and a half inch spine. So, and these ended up to be... Um, these, if you cut up the middle and you use these gussets in the side as your part, these end up to be about five and a quarter by just about six. So that is what they work out to be. And it has a, about a two and a quarter, these have about a two and a quarter inch spine. So it just takes about a quarter of an inch off each side um, by doing that. So there's that one and that one. And then you're going to cover the insides. Um, you're going to cover the insides with either paper or something like that. So then anyway, that's what we're going to be doing in these series. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, like I said, if I did not make sense, I, you will not hurt my feelings looking at somebody else's video to do a much better job. But these, um, these bags are from the Dollar Tree. They're three for a dollar twenty-five. I thought that that was fabulous. And uh, yeah, so I would love for you to subscribe. We're at 98 subscribers and you will get this little sticker maker. I'm so glad you joined me for my little bit of a this is what's cooking for Christmas video. My Merry Monday and uh, I will catch you tomorrow.